What's up, YouTube? We have a um, March 26th through March 31st edition of Motown Mail. A lot of TTMs. Um, I only have actually two eBay pickups in this uh, this video. Um, everything else is TTM successes. So if you guys like your TTMs, you'll probably like this video. Um, first off, the eBay pickups. Very happy with this purchase. Um, it's an 8x10 of former Cubs closer, uh, the late Rod Beck. <clears throat> he passed away about five years ago. Um, his cause of death was not publicly released, uh, but there was cocaine found in his uh, his home. Uh, I always liked Rod Beck. He'd always be swinging his arm before the pitch, and uh, I always liked Rod Beck. So got that pretty good price. Um, so picked that up. It's also an inscribed shooter, his nickname. Um, it's converted 51 or uh, converted 51 saves for the Cubs. Um, I forgot what year, um, but I always like I always like shooter, so I decided to pick that up for the Cubs collection. Next, finally, in addition to the Hall of Fame ball PC, uh, former Negro League player, um, one of the best fielders uh, ever in the Negro Leagues, also excellent um, hitter for average. Passed away about 20 years ago. <clears throat> um, Ray Dandridge, it's on an official uh, Giamatti ball. It's a little bit off-centered on the sweet spot, um, but still got a good price on that. Didn't have a Ray Dandridge autographed ball, so pick that up. Um, got it from Legends. Of, Legends are forever. They're based out of Cooperstown. They're legit. I just hate how they put those stupid holograms on there. If you try to take it off, it ruins it. So, oh well. Like I said, I got it at a good price, so I'm not too disappointed uh, about the sticker, I guess. Um, but uh, Mr. Dandridge <coughs> was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1987. Um, when uh, baseball integrated, uh, he was deemed too old to, to play, so he never played in the major leagues. But a very nice pickup right there. All right, now on to the TTM successes. First off, former uh, manager of the year and World Series champion, Trader Jack, Jack McKeon, uh, signed this nice Cracker Jack uh, from what year? 2004. That turned out real nice. I uh, love this card because he's smoking his stogie. 2004 tops um, Jack McKeon. A little bit hard to see the signature there. He signed right over the Marlins uh, logo, but that's pretty cool. And then uh, won him in his Reds uniform, 2000 tops. <clears throat> So nice return from Trader Jack. Next, I got former third baseman, third base all-star Sal Bando uh, signed four cards for me. I got this 79 tops. <clears throat> got a 77 tops. Got this boyhood photos of the stars. Got young Sal Bando, probably when he's 12 years old. And then I got a 1976 tops of Sal Bando. So, Mr. Bando's always a real uh, easy TTM success to get. He's always signing. Um, so, very nice. Next, former knuckleballer Charlie Huff um, signed four cards for me. He actually won 216 games in the major leagues and also lost 216 games for an even 500 record. Got a 94 flare. This guy. Pitched forever too. Uh, 92 Ultra, 88 Tops, and an 84 Fleer. <clears throat> Next, former first baseman and DH Andre Thornton signed a 1981 Tops. A, uh, what year is this? 2006. Um, great to the game. That turned out real nice. 79 tops. So, 3 of 3 for Andre Thornton. Next, uh, former manager of the year and former Cubs shortstop Larry Boa signed a 1982 tops, a 1978 tops, and 83 tops in his Cubs uniform. So, 3 of 3 from Larry Boa. I did have a uh, success from him a couple months ago on a baseball too so another nice return from Mr. Boa shortstop for the 84 Cubs 
Uh, next, Butter Harrelson signed three of three, including this nice 1973 tops. A 76 tops. 77, sorry. 77 tops. And a 78 tops. Really nice looking signatures there. Next, Merv Rettenmund signed four cards for me. Um, this is a 2004 um, Upper Deck Legend, or this is Timeless Teams from his days with the Orioles. 1973 tops. Yeah, 78 tops from his Padres days. And a 74 tops from his Orioles days. And last TTM success for this video, Bob Baylor signed 3 of 3, um, 84 Fleer, and 82 tops. Excuse me, and a 1978 tops. So that's it. It's kind of nice getting some TTMs back here and there. Um, try and send out between like five and seven a week for the next couple months, maybe. Um, so should see a uh, steady flow of TTM successes coming in. I haven't really been buying much on eBay. I just trying to save a little bit more. Um, but uh, new Michael Turner stuff comes out, I will pick it up. And any Hall of Fame balls that I need that I can get a good price, I'll pick those up as well. So uh, that's all I got for now. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, please stay safe.